about no. lies, it's about whether you know something or you don't. I, I do know this. Right. Yeah. So what are you the quantum? Okay. When you say quantum, yeah, let's talk about that. Okay. What are, what what are the quantum I'll particles? It. I'll explain it. Can you name me the, five particles of quantum particles? They're not particles. It's the properties how particles react. Good. And what are these particles? So the double slit experiment is where one atom. Okay. What's the, what's the boson? No, no, I don't know what boson is. Okay, so you don't I mean, know quantum physics. Okay, no, carry on. No, no. no you don't need to. You don't need to because the people who are watching, they've already understood. Yeah. Cool. So I, I, I can yeah. spare talk then, couldn't I? Yeah. So quantum entanglement. Okay. Well, yeah. that's that's we're talking now. Good. You know, you know what quantum entanglement uh, is? Educate me, please. Okay. It's where two particles can be locked together. Okay. Yeah. We separate through time, and one does this, the other one reacts at the same time. Yeah. You're you're aware of this, aren't you? No, I'm learning from you. Go ahead. Not a problem. We have the double slit experiment when one atom goes goes through two slits. When we observe it, it goes through one. So that's showing an atom can be in two places at the same time. Okay. Yeah. We have, uh, um, God is omnipresent, isn't it? Not in my belief. Okay, no, yeah, he is. You believe God is omnipresent? No, no, you don't, you don't tell me what I believe, okay, what no I get problem. to believe. We don't believe God is inside the creation. We don't believe well, God is inside the toilet. So wait, wait, into... I'm telling you what I believe. Okay. No. We don't believe God is in hell. We don't believe God is in the toilet. Like, is that what you believe in? God is inside you, yeah. inside the toilet? Yeah, quantum physics. Is God in every single Born cell in the Yeah. Let me clarify something. Yeah. Is God occupying every single cell of your brain? No, he's spiritual. Wait, wait. If God, so the omnipresence world. means... No, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. What does omnipresence mean? Okay, it's all, all, all time. Time, no, space no, no. and matter are physical properties. Can you explain? Time, space, I'm explaining. What does omnipresence hey, hey, hey. mean? Yeah, listen, time, space and matter are physical properties. Spiritual realm is, is not confined by the material substances. Okay, so when we break an atom down, quantum is very small and it disappears. So if I have a finger and I chop it again and again and again, yeah. when I chop it for the final time, both of them disappear and become non-locational. They enter the quantum field. Good. Yeah? yeah, quantum entanglement. So I can be quantumly entangled with God, say the Father, Jesus says, I'm in the Father, the Father is in me. And yeah. you are in the Father as well, right? No, no, not in the Father. So he's God everywhere. The Holy then. Spirit is in me. No, in the quantum explanation that you've given me, hang on. Have you applied quantum physics to the Trinity before? Listen, listen. When you talk about quantum entanglement, yes. so you're saying yes. God occupies every single, what? It's spiritual, it's non-locational. It's outside oh, of time. Oh, so God is not located matter. everywhere. God is spirit. So okay, God so is. now we understand. God, God is not located physically everywhere. Is that no, what you're no, saying? No. God's properties, God is three. So Jesus took on flesh. He became flesh, didn't he? Is that flesh occupied every space? No. No. That so that property. means, okay, let's understand that. God is three. Okay, let's understand, understand this. Let's understand. So Jesus Christ, who took on a human body, that body was in a specific small location yes. confined by human body. Yes. So, Absolutely. so he does not qualify to say God is omnipresent because he's not located everywhere. Well, I'm now, if he's triune, wait, so wait, wait, does, wait. the other two are still Please, please, please. I'm just correcting you. Let me, let me get What's through, let me get through all the questions. So Jesus is not located everywhere physically. Jesus is the Alpha and uh, Omega. Wait, wait. The Holy Spirit, is the Holy Spirit physically located everywhere? It indwells the believers, yeah. Is he physically located? Physically there. located? No, because it's no. not physical. No, so now, wait, wait. So the Holy Spirit is not physically located, neither is Jesus. Now to God, no, Father. No, no, no. Jesus is the Father, the wait, is the Father physically located in every place? I believe so, yeah. So the Father is physically located inside your brain? Yeah. Jesus said, Let's understand a bit more than. Okay, so let me, the, let me, no, no. Talking. Man, sir, let me I help want you. to. Let me help you. I know you're no, talking. You can lot. help me only if I understand what you're saying. Okay, Jesus so if the, is the light of the world. No, yes? Father, Father. Let's go. No, Father no, occupying every no, single no, place. No problem. Listen. Sorry? Jesus said he is the light of the world. I'm the Alpha and Omega. So the Father occupies your no, brain cells. Every Je single brain cell. Jesus said he is Let's the light that. of the world. Mm. Yeah, he is the Alpha and Omega. I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the Father. I'm talking. I'm talking about the Father, I'm about, and talking about Jesus. I Why? know how to lead a conversation as well, don't worry about it. No, no, I, I am talking about the Father. No, I'm talking about Jesus. I am so talking Jesus about the Father. Jesus is the light of the world, yes? He's the Alpha and Omega. Now in 2022, they got a light particle through quantum physics to travel forward in time, backwards in time, and pause. All material matter is made of stationary light. Are you aware of this? I'm learning, carry on. No, not a problem. So Jesus says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and through him all things were made. I am the light of the world. I am the Alpha and Omega. He knows the beginning from the end. He holds 
all things together? Answer my question. The uh, question uh, I'm just teaching you, bro. No, no. no so, no, this is your. The this Bible's is, explaining reality. Are you reality. preaching or having a discussion? I'm just saying that the Bible's explaining reality. It's Hang testable. on. We don't want you to preach to have a discussion, right? No problem, Good. Bro. So, now you said. Come on. The Father physically is located in every single place, including every single brain cells that you I have in your brain. understand the mind of Wait, the Father. One second, one second. I want to now understand whether you really affirm that or not. So you said, Jesus doesn't occupy every single place physically. In flesh. Wait. When he took flesh. Wait, wait. Physically. The Holy Spirit doesn't occupy every single place physically. Now the Father, you said. The God is omnipresent. Let me, let me state what I, what I understood from what you said. But I correct you. God is omnipresent. I haven't stated something for, for you to correct me. So, you say the Father is physically located in every single place, including every single brain cells. Yes. Right. So, if God is unknowledgeable yeah. and is located in your brain cells, in your neurons, in your synapses, yeah. would you be able to access that knowledge? No. Why not? Because I'm human. But it's in your brain cells. I'm a human. It's in your it's brain cells. It's in your brain cells. No, 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 no. I'm human, bro. No, it's in your brain cells. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. It's in your brain cells. Every single brain <laughs> cell. such a that bad argument. Hear me out. I'm trying to make. Look, what, my name is Mansoor. I can't, I know who oh, you no, are. What's my name? Mansoor. Now, how did you know my name because is Mansoor? Told me. Now, and where is the information stored? In my brain. In your brain. Yeah. So if your my brain, brain, let me finish. Is physical, isn't it? Let me finish. The spiritual realms. Let me, let me finish. Yeah, so you stored so that piece of, listen, you stored that piece of information, which is my name. A material. Excuse me, excuse me. Listen, you stored a piece of information with my name being Mansoor of Dawa Wise. Yeah? Are you listening? Good. In your brains, right? Yeah. In your neurons. Physical. Wait, wait. Which is physical. Yeah, it's and, God, physical. and God it's of Christianity or God of your belief. What's your name again? Adam. Here I am. Adam. Send me. Good, good. Adam's belief says God occupies physically every single brain cells. So. No, spiritually. But now he's now saying spiritually. No, but spiritually is not physical, is it? My brain is physical. It's not So spiritual. when I asked you physically, you said yes. I, I've, I've answered your question. I so it's not physically? It's spiritually. I said God good, good. Okay, now, spiritually. Do you, do you understand the question? Tell me what well, I've wait. said. Tell me what I've said. I'll tell you what you've said. Go for it. So now you're saying it's not physical anymore. It's not. It's not physical anymore. It's actually. It's actually, and I'm not sure why everyone else is. But anyway, it's not physical anymore. I've said God is spiritual. Listen. He took on flesh. You asked me whether I understood or not, which I'm explaining. It's not physical anymore. God occupies not the Son or the Holy Spirit, not the Holy Spirit or Jesus. The Holy Spirit is constantly entangled. Please listen. It's the Father who occupies spiritually as you said every single location that's what you believe right good and this god in its entirety is worthy of worship hallelujah Cosmos. good so individually jesus christ for example yes who is according to you a part of this entirety of god yes is jesus individually worthy of worship yes okay if he's worthy of worship, is he self-sufficient? Greater love hath no man than to okay, let me How is he self-sufficient? He is one, a cad. The properties of the one atom, the properties of quantum physics, explain how things can be in two places at once. Doesn't explain things, but the spiritual realm is unseen. We don't know if we can't see it Adam, in three parts. Do you know I'm, what I mean by self-sufficient? No, no, I understand what you're saying, but the no, question by is word, one. Self-sufficient self -sufficient God is one, a cad. Do you know what it means, self-sufficient? Are you made, it says, are we made them in our image, plural. Are you body, you, soul, and You don't spirit? understand my question? You understand like, your body? Like I my question to What's you? your name? My name is Mansoor. Uh, Mansoor, do you have a body? Um, I have a body. Do you have a soul? No, who is this? I don't have a soul. Do you, do you have a soul? No, 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 no. Your question is, is your not soul correct. separate to your body? Excuse me, your question is not correct. I'm going to tell you. I, I when you really have a spirit, Adam, a when you say, yeah. do I have a soul, who is this I that have a soul? Bro, it's Don't very simple. Do you have a soul? It's not simple. It, it, it's it's really not simple. simple. Yes or no, but, I have a soul. But me, my entirety, as a one human being, yeah. 
I am composed of three parts. No. How many parts? Body and spirit. Body and spirit. So what's about the soul? Where does Allah take up the soul? The spirit is the soul. Oh, the spirit is the soul. Okay. Yeah. So according to the Bible, it's not. I'm to not. I'm not interested in what the Bhagavad Gita, the Bible says about my belief. I'm just telling you what I believe. I'm you what my, so, my faith so, 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 so your book. faith is I've you have you have a mind, you have a body, you have a soul, you have a spirit. No, no, no. The mind is not that you put four in there. It's really simple. I never mentioned I have a mind. Do you have a mind? Mind is the body, isn't it? No. Separate body, the body. Mind is not the body. So that's for the spiritual attributes, isn't it? Hang on. It? Do you have we'll, a mind? We'll pull up on the spirit. One, thing one second, Adam. Yes. So do you, you have a mind? That's do a spiritual you, attribute. Do you so have mind a mind? Is the spirit. They're the so, properties of the spirit. Your consciousness is through your spirit. So now you're conflating mind with the spirit. No, no, no. They're the same thing, bro. Your mind is a property of your spirit. What's the difference between soul and the spirit? The soul and the spirit is your who you are. Uh, where? Hang on. The, the the seat of your soul is where you are. I put these up on screen because you know I bust us in with my edits. Yeah, you know that. Uh, um, I don't understand what you're saying. Though. No worries. I, I only your asked you soul, the difference between spirit and soul. Yeah, your soul, your spirit is where your attributes, your likes, your dislikes, your personality, your soul is the vehicle with which the spirits operate off. The hardware and the software is the best kind of expression I can give you because I am only human. So and you have a hardware, physical. you have a hardware and a software, soul. right? Soul. Okay, now... It's the best I can describe it. Good, Adam. Analogy is good. Thank you. So, so now you have the concept of self-sufficiency because we started by saying, do you worship a God or would you worship a God who is self-sufficient? You said yes. Yes. Good. Do you know what self-sufficient means? Yes. Explain. You're able to look after yourself. Okay. A self-sufficient entity yes. is dependent or independent of anything. Are you going to go to Jesus a baby? Uh, ex that. Excuse me. If someone is self-sufficient, yes. does that concept mean they are independent? Yes. Or good. Well, sir, we're e all independent. Excellent. We have free will, don't excellent. we? Excellent. So Adam, 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 excellent. Yeah, cool. So Jesus, be the baby. Jesus to be worthy of worship, mm -hmm. he needs to be self-sufficient. Excuse me, yeah. excuse me. Can I finish? Yeah, we've got Let's, scripture. Uh, uh, I'm way ahead relax, of you. relax. Way ahead of you. So Jesus to be God worthy of worship needs to be self-sufficient and independent. Yes. Was Jesus independent of the Father? They're all independent. They're separate. Three persons one I have, I've asked you God a simple essence. question. To understand someone is self-sufficient or not, we need to know whether they're independent or not. But so Allah is the, Jesus... Allah has a spirit, doesn't he? Excuse me. We're not talking about football anymore. We're, we're talking about... Well, we're talking so about... Oh, hang on, hang on. Don't try to um, uh, no, do no, this. I'm just telling right. you that so, so Adam, 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 Adam. It's heresy. Jesus Christ, yes. who you consider to be self-sufficient yes is he independent of the father for his own existence no they are one then he is not self-sufficient because they he's dependent one. wait wait one essence listen. worship god adam, in essence adam adam, adam listen if someone is independent then they're self-sufficient then they can be worthy of worship so jesus is now being examined mm -hmm. is jesus self-sufficient you said yes and yes. i want to know okay yes. then he must be independent so i asked to this question yeah. is jesus independent of everyone and everything uh, other yeah. than himself yeah no not other than himself he is one other than himself no no no. but jesus is one you're talking wait, about wait. god the is jesus god. is jesus independent of anything and everything and he is self-sufficient by his own self before creation he was there what's my question i'm asking you yeah it was jesus independent of himself of the father yes of course they're the three persons so jesus they're the that's not Need so that so, good, good. When so, I go back to quantum physics, wait, wait, wait. the reality. So Jesus, it, excuse me, Adam. Relax, relax. So Jesus, a card, a card. so Jesus does not need the Father, even if the Father didn't exist. No, 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 no. That's let who me finish. They are, let me finish. That's who let, they are. Let me, it's a can, I, can I finish? Yeah, but it's Adam, a logical fallacy. Adam, but it's a logical fallacy. Can, no, can I finish? Right? You want to change who my God is? Um, excuse me, Adam. I'm just telling you. No, no. I'm I'm about to explain something. Okay, so this is good. Please, I'm struggling. Any, any, look. Any existent mm. entity. Mm. Jesus is an existent entity. Are we talking about the person of Jesus, pre-incarnate or post-incarnate? Pre-incarnate. Okay, cool. So a pre-incarnate existent entity mm -hmm. is either dependent on someone else for his existence or independent of everything. Why are you Wait, taking away Jesus? Uh, uh, excuse from me. Who he is? Uh, listen, 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 listen. I am saying. Let's talk about Christianity. Is, we'll be um, to, yeah? um, um, I 
I understand that you believe in three gods. No, I believe. I understand you believe in three gods working together as one family. Adam, Adam, I know you believe in three gods working together as one family. One god. No, one family. One family. No, no, one person. One person? Yeah. Or three persons? One, uh, three persons. So it's not one person. It's three persons. In three persons. Right. So what I'm saying is, is each person self-sufficient? They're all self-sufficient. Yeah, they're only one. Excuse me. God is one, bro. Simple. Can you do it slowly? God. Is each person? No, no. My question is. Each person self-sufficient. They're one. How can they be self-sufficient? They're one. The answer yes. is that. Yes, yes. By like the divine nature, they all are saved. So, Thank you. so now, so okay. Listen then. So if um, I don't want to speak to you it's as a comedian. So I'm speaking so to you, Adam. Uh, uh, no, I'm not speaking to a comedian. So I am a funny comedian. Uh, uh, no, no, hang on. He's so now, so listen, Adam. So, one, so you just have one, now. Just one low budget. Just one. Listen, listen. Just one. Adam. Just one. I don't speak to comedians, right? Just one low budget. Why are Christians so in? Inferior to complex sufferers. Why? They can't have their own discussion. They want to come yeah. and interrupt. Yeah. So, so you don't no, know Adam, anything Adam. about what you're talking Why about. Why do you have you your Christian devil? Yeah. You so know insecure what in their belief, no and they keep begging Muslims you. to speak to them. I Let them. To, I've got videos of you Tell avoiding him. me. You know that. Hmm? You, Allah. If I, yeah. I, I realise that not, you haven't avoided me. Look, listen, I swear to Allah, you haven't avoided me. Can I answer? Right. If I realise that you are also another comedian, I will avoid you too. Funny, funny. No, no. Let me establish this. Let me establish that. that so now, so, image. So, so, so you said, you said, each person is self-sufficient. No, the one. Per, the he one said yes. You said no. You're talking about okay. person. Let him write because he's wrong. Then I'm not is, wrong. Sorry, sorry. Is each person self-sufficient? Yes. He said yes. What do you say? Yes. By the divine nature, they are saved. Yes. Do you know what? Is each person? Is each person self-sufficient? Yes. Adam. Yes. Is each person self-sufficient? Yes. Are fully identical to the divine. Nature, yes, Mansoor. I think yes. Is each it's person? Yeah, then yes. tell me yeah. what yeah. Do you want to debate yourself first, settle this matter, and then come back to me? Yeah. Right? Is that fair? Yeah. 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 I'll take a break, argue between yourself, and decide what you believe about God. No, 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 go on, go on, go on, do that. I'll just relax. I'll relax. Argue between yourself and decide what you believe about God. I actually agree with them. Okay, final answer is what? Each person. Deficient. That's not my question. Fully sufficient. Wait, wait. My question. My question is very specific. Is each person within this Trinitarian concept of God? Yes. Is each person self-sufficient? Yes. Good. That means being self-sufficient means this person who is self-sufficient does not need anything else like the Father or the Son when it comes to Jesus Christ. That's true. So Jesus can exist without the Father begetting him. But he doesn't. Can I finish? Can I can I finish my statement? Right. So no. Wait, wait. What does father mean? Wait, wait. We have children. Wait, wait. wait. So there is no equivalent father. Can I can I can I explain to you where the problem is? Let me explain to you the problem. Let me explain to you the problem. What is monogamy? You tell me. It's your concept. Monogamy. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. is the type of intellectual emanation by which the hypostasis of the sons originate. Now, if you're asking about the origin of I the want to speak to a clown, why are you listening to him? He's so sad. 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 The person yes. can exist even without the father existing. No. That's what it means by self sufficient. No. Because they're no. one. So I you're saying. I okay, let me rephrase. Hang on, rephrase. Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Describing thing. Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Can okay, Jesus. For you after this, of yeah? course you can. Can Jesus, that person that you consider self sufficient, okay. How many, can. A few more minutes on this one. Uh, please. Let's go. Adam, Adam, relax, relax. I'm super relaxed, right. bro. Is this Jesus Christ, yes. this person within the Trinity, can he exist without the Father? Messiah Christ was Messiah. Uh, he is the Messiah. Excuse me, excuse me, Adam. Listen, listen. To the same language, if yeah. the Father did not exist, can Jesus as a person exist? But that's not that, that's the reality of what it is. It's not about a crazy question. If the Father can he exist? They are one God. Can he exist without the Father? One God. That's not my question. I, 
Okay. My question is to you, Adam, can the sun exist without the father existing? That's a silly question. No, no, I don't drink. That's reality, No, no. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Anyway, um, right. So uh, my question to you is this. Okay, don't confuse my brother here. If the father did not exist, can the son exist? Yes. That means the son is dependent on the father's existence. But that's not the reality of what it is. Let me ask you again. Is the father, is the son's existence dependent on the father existing? So, so who is God then? Who is God? Answer my question. Is the existence of the son plural? Excuse me. Always been plural. Listen, listen. You can't separate Jesus, the Adam, Father, and Adam, the Holy Spirit from Adam, God. Adam, you're not listening. You can't. Is the son's existence dependent on the father existing? They are one, pe one being, bro. <laughs> you're not answering they're, my question. They're split one being. Answer my question. They're split Answer one my being. question. You'll take your Answer my question. Okay, what, what answer would you like to give? Okay. Because I want to understand As, what you uh, potential think. answers. Excellent. You know what? Let me shake your hand. Excellent. I'll give you potential Trinity. answers. Potential, potential answers. answers. The son cannot exist without father existing. One answer. The son can exist without the father existing. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Who cares? Five potential answers. Which one is it? Okay. So God is God, isn't he? He is three parts. That's what I'm asking you. No, no, but I'm telling you the answer. It's a silly question. No. Five potential answers. Which one? No, I'm not picking that one. I'm giving you my answer. Is that okay? You know what you try to do? Sorry, interrupting. It's like he's asking you what you're doing in life. He said, oh, I have a car. It's like a different illness. This is a... Yeah, go and answer the question in your own way. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And answer it, please. Okay. So don't say you like football or you like banana in your breakfast. Don't say that. Answer the question that I ask. So, let's come in here. Uh, a little bit over here. Uh, excuse me. Uh, it's not preaching. Speak to me. Uh, go ahead. Tell me. Yeah. Go ahead. Video. So, who God is. No. Three no, no, no. In one. I asked you, can the, is the existence of the Son dependent? It's a question. Dependent on the existence of the Father. That's who God is, bro. The answer is yes, it's dependent. Question. So now, because what you realize. The belief system, that's a stupid question. You understand that, don't you? So basically, you believe. No, you're, you're, so, so basically, you believe. You understand? Uh, and my, my hang on, hang on. So you. you, 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 tell you Adam, how that Adam, is Adam, 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 okay. You know what? Understand. Because you think it's a stupid question. So let's let's move on. Oh, no, no. Ask a question. Um, Answer. Go ahead, ask a question. Thank you so but much. At least, at least, what we have done so far. We've had a discussion. No, no, let's let, let, an answer. No, 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 no it's not about. It's not about. It's not about. It's not about. Adam, it's a you know, your opportunity to ask me a question. But just to summarize what happened so far. It's not that you can't come to an answer. We know what the answer is. The answers are very obvious. And yet, and yet, Adam. Um, and yet, um, listen, Adam. Listen, Adam. Listen. You know the answer is. The answer is. No, no. Um, you can't come to the uh, You're asking logical questions. Excuse me. Listen. We know. We know the son. If he's self-sufficient, then he will be independent of the father existing or not existing. So if the father even didn't exist, the son being self-existent will exist. But you know in Christian belief. But you know in Christian belief that's not believable. We could agree. That's not believable. It's not about agreeing to disagree. What I'm saying is, so now we realize, now we realize, now we realize, Adam, you know if you consider him to be self sufficient, then he doesn't need the Father. Father doesn't have to exist. Listen, no, I'm talking about before God existed. I am talking about a period in which God existed without any creation. Yes. In your belief. Yes. At that point, God is at that, no, at that, listen, listen. At that point, we realize if you believe Jesus is self-sufficient, that means even if is the father are you interrupting when I'm summarizing? How can I finish when you're interrupting? You summarize, so I'm summarizing is this in this concept of your God, in which Jesus you consider him self-sufficient, what we understand as Muslims and non-Christians that the Father doesn't even have to exist for Jesus to exist. Why? Because Jesus is self-sufficient. That's a lie. But if Jesus needs the Father, needs, if Jesus needs the Father, then he is in need. He's dependent on the Father. If he's in need of the Father, then he is not self-sufficient. And if he's not self-sufficient, he is not God. Your question, Adam. 
Okay, brilliant. Uh, yeah, ju ju so I do apologetics. I came to my faith by testing the Bible. I open it up live on any page. Any name, person, place can be found, can't it? Outside of the Bible is a more testable means, yeah? I've got all the evidence. I'd love to give someone, someone a flyer so they can test it. But you have a story of Yajujamajuj? Yeah, you know about Yajujamajuj, yeah? yeah. Um, well, who were Yajuj? The, the two tribes, aren't they? So do you want to talk about God? Or do no, 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 this is one, the, one second, one, one second, one I'm second. Ask him a one, one second. Can I fill it out, please? Before you fill it out, let me clarify something for you. So you want to talk about yeah, Jews, yes. you want to talk about. We consider the most important discussion between Pardon, a. This is a discussion. Excuse me. Um, listen. Why the most you? most important discussion should take place as a matter of principle. This is what I'm educating everyone, including yourself. So why are you scared? I listen. Listen. I am. I'm telling you. Hit, Hear me out. According to our teaching, our teaching, listen. Show me a verse. According to our teaching, yeah, the verse, can you to, let me finish or what? Your teaching, actually. According to our teaching, verse. the first and the most important discussion to take place between a Muslim and a non Muslim like yourself as a Christian is on whether we worship one God or not. We're well, having this wait, question. Wait, wait, in. wait. Yeah, judge your mad judge. Answer it. I listen. Do you not even you get it? We have the priority questions as mandated by my religion. If you don't want to go, listen, talk about my God. Don't ask about no. my God. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Yajuj and Majuj. Sorry, okay. Adam. Yeah. Four feet to your chance. Why have I? Because. So I'm ask you any because, question and then you fall uh, it wrong. Listen, listen. Okay. We want to talk about the most. Okay, well, the end of the discussion Yajuj because he's not interested in about God. He's interested about banana and football and Yajuj and Majuj. Yajuj. Um, banana and fruit pudding. Um, nice talking How to you. I'm going to shake your hand. Okay, don't shake my hands. Uh, you understand? No, no, I'm saying. forfeiting you. I can ask Do you know why? No, no, no. Are you running? I am walking, okay. not running. Okay, see you later.